Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I am delighted to be joined by Mr. Mark Furrer, who is the former director of the Swiss Federal Office of Communications, Ofcom, and ex-president of the FCC. Mr. Furrer, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. So you have been involved with WISIS from the start, haven't you? Tell us about the beginnings of the event. Yes, uh, the beginning was in Marrakesh at the plenary of the ITU in, when was that, 98? when there was um, a suggestion of uh, some countries to do such a summit. And I must say at the beginning, the enthusiasm wasn't very great, certainly not with ITU. Uh, the, 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 the Secretary General at the time, uh, when it was uh, accepted and said, yes, we should do that in 2003, um, he was far from very amused about this idea because ITU was, saw itself very much as a technical uh, organization and of course information society has a lot to do as the name says with society with social questions political questions and so on and uh, obviously they could see that it would be a hard process a difficult process nevertheless uh, we started it it was an uphill struggle but uh, I had the honor and the pleasure to chair this preparation which of the action plan you know you can imagine free freedom of expression, ICT for development, regulation of internet or not regulation of internet, all these topics, there were heated discussions and, uh, and I had to lead uh, that all into one package of uh, action plan. At the end we achieved and uh, yeah, so it's nice to look back 15 years ago. And what about the future? Well, what about the future? I mean, the question is, of course, what has been achieved through this process? And I think what is uh, the name already says, it's a process. And uh, I'm very, very proud and delighted what happened because many people said, oh, well, we'll have this summit and then nobody speaks about it anymore. And uh, thank God this is not the case. I was just at the Internet Governance Forum uh, last November and I was impressed all these uh, stakeholders, civil societies discussing this topic, this topic, so many people. So it is a, a debate, it is a huge process in the whole world with all branches, still very much controversial obviously, that's part of the, of the, of the thing. But uh, I, think I think that is the very positive thing. Also here with this forum, you know, that, that this is a process, that this is an ongoing process. You can't expect quick results, so there will be never quick results. ICT for development, there is unfortunately always a digital divide, but it's the aim to discuss how can we, we uh, breach this divide, how can we, or for example, uh, free media. We all know that in many, many parts of the, of the, of the world, the media is not free, the press uh, free speech is not uh, granted. It's not even better than in, in 2003, unfortunately. But still, this is something which has to be discussed and has to be also finger pointed and say, why is it not? And especially with the internet, a free expression, uh, free speech is, 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 is the core of the internet and, uh, and uh, that we still have to achieve. So it's still a lot of work to do, but it's important to keep the momentum going, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, and, uh, and, and I think that's, that's the thing. Of course, what is working very well is where this ICT as a tool, as a means, um, has economic advantage. E-business is going very well. Google has developed, which has fantastic possibilities. I mean, I'm using Google every, every day, several times. Facebook, all these things. So the communication has been improved through these things. Uh, so, but of course, there's also much money, as we all know, involved. So in this uh, thing, uh, it's going very, very fast and very well. Where we have problems is in the universal service. Questions like e-health, questions like democracy, of course, but also question of, of development, you know, how to achieve the Millennium Goals at the time, and now the, uh, the, the, the Sustainable Development Goals. I mean, that is probably something where you don't earn much money and that's where politics and also the engagement of the people involved here uh, should show. Mr. Mark Ferro, thank you very much. Okay, pleasure.